Because of Girl is a popular series that started airing in the United States in 2007 and found great success in many parts of the world. Something that makes Gossip Girl different is that it is a network series, which makes it possible to use network theory when analyzing it. I am going to be touching on some characteristics of the network film that can be seen in Gossip Girl, and then proceed to look into the importance of Gossip Girl as a character by exploring the centrality of that actor in the network. A network can be described as nodes that are interconnected by links. In a network film or series, the characters are the nodes, and the connections and relations between them are the links. The series Gossip Girl is structured like a network in the sense that it is representing a distributed system of social relations instead of focusing on a dominant protagonist as you go to phrased it in 2011. This is revealed to the viewer early on in the series pilot episode, when the focus and screen time is divided between several different characters, which lets the viewer understand that there isn't just one specific protagonist. The viewer is given insights into the emotions of many of the characters, one example being a close-up shot of Serena's worried face as she returns to New York in the very beginning and another one was shown the tension between Rufus, Dan and Jenny when they talk about Dan and Jenny's mother. This is likely to make the viewer invested and interested in many of the characters instead of just one. The narrator Gossip Girl is also helping in directing the viewer's attention between characters and getting the viewer invested in them. In the very beginning I would say there is two largely separated networks that eventually comes together as more and more characters of the different networks connect with each other. Another characteristic of the network film. When looking at all of the actors in Gossip Girl as notes, there is one of them that stands out. I would argue that Gossip Girl as a character is one of the most significant actors in the series. I would like to explore that theory by looking at one concept for network theory called centrality. Centrality asks the question, what characterizes an important node? In network theory, the centrality of a node is determined by several different parameters, and I am going to be choosing two of them to explore the centrality of the character Gossip Girl as a node within the network, its closeness and its betweenness. The first one is the closeness of Gossip Girl. Closeness can be regarded as a measure of how long it will take to spread something such as information from the node of interest to all other nodes sequentially. We can understand how this correlates to the node's significance in that it is a measure of the node's capacity to affect all the other nodes in the network. Closeness is important in social networks because actors never act in isolation, according to Jan Keller and Singh. And a high closeness gives an actor the ability to influence and affect other actors. I would argue that Gossip Girl as an individual has the shortest average path link to the other nodes in the network and therefore has a high closeness. One text from Gossip Girl can reach every teenager during the series that we are aware of, without having to pass through someone else, since she has a direct connection to the phone that they carry with them. Although many of the notes in the network of the series are able to reach most of the other ones, many of them would have to reach them through someone else, which makes their path link to the majority of other notes longer than the one that Gossip Girl has to basically all of the characters. Another measure of centrality that I will be looking at is the one called betweenness. Betweenness, as mentioned, is really talking about how critical a node is to a network in its functioning as a bridging point between other nodes in the network. Betweenness centrality quantifies the number of times a node acts as a bridge along the shortest path between two other nodes. Gossip Girl is often used as a bridge between nodes, since one of the nodes just has to send her a text with the information that they want to get out, for it to reach almost all the other nodes in the network, because of her previously mentioned high closeness. 
Here are two examples. Spotted at Grand Central, bags in hand, Serena Vanderwoodson. Was it only a year ago our it girl mysteriously disappeared for quote boarding school? And just as suddenly she's back. Don't believe me? See for yourselves. Lucky for us, Melanie91 sent proof. Thanks for the photo, Mel. Gossip code's been used as a bridge from one single note to reach all the other notes countless times. Gossip code is the only note that can be used as a bridge to that many other notes at once, and is therefore the most frequent bridge, which makes her between its value the highest. Several times the viewer is made to understand that Gossip Girl is the only bridge of this scale. Gossip Girl here, your one and only source into the scandalous lives of Manhattan's elite. This is why I would argue that Gossip Girl is a note with the highest centrality in the series. Which could explain why the whole series is named after this individual actor. XO, XO.